because they have overextended themselves and they bought all these things so that the way they own the things. But the reality is the things start owning them. The things start possessing them. Possession matters. And for God... Hey everyone, my name is Chad. I am a Jesus follower and I am the pastor at Henderson General Baptist Church. And today's motivational word is possession. Possession is a word that we use all the time. I grew up understanding that possession was nine-tenths of the law, meaning that if you became owner, if you had it, and I've even let people borrow stuff and I never got it back. You know who you are. Probably I've done the same thing. We all kind of forget whose is what, and we think because it's in our possession, we own it. A definition of possession is the state of having, owning, or controlling something. I mean, think about that. We think because we have an, a house and we write down, own we own it but a lot of times we don't own our house the bank owns our house and we're just making payments on it and you still have to mow the lawn possession is an important word for us today because oftentimes we mistake having things and thinking that we possess them when in reality they possess us there's often times we think, hey, I need money, and we do need money. But when our love for money overwhelms us, all of a sudden, this root of bitterness and this root of evil builds up to where all of a sudden, we no longer own the money, the money owns us. When we think about our devices that we hold so rampantly in our hands and we possess them, we buy them, we rent them, we lease them. I mean, we're paying boo koodles of money every year for these new devices that we have to have and we have to own them. And yet, what is the reality? Do we possess them or do they possess us? See, when I think about possession, I think about this verse See, the challenge for our, for our church this week is to read Colossians chapter 1, chapter 2, chapter 3, chapter 4, with the focus on Colossians chapter 3, verse 17. Our word of the day, possession. So when we think about possession, what, is, what are you possessing? The Bible says this in Colossians chapter 1. So we have not stopped praying for you since we first heard about you. We ask God to give you complete knowledge of his will and to give you spiritual wisdom and understanding. See, the important word there is that word give. When we are giving something, that means that the person that we're giving that to now possesses it. But the reality is for this word of the day, possession, who is possessing who? Is the is the Spirit of God possessing you or are you possessing the Spirit of God? Who is owner here in this relationship that you have? See, the reality in this verse, as I look at it again, we ask God to give you complete, full knowledge of His will and to give, give ownership. You the spiritual wisdom and understanding, but, but we understand that in a number of languages, it is not possible to speak of possessing the Spirit. This ownership that we think in this relationship with God, that all of a sudden now I possess God, I own Him, the Spirit lives in me, it's mine. No. See, we don't possess the Holy Spirit and we don't possess spiritual wisdom. It's given to us but the hope is, is that it now possesses us. It owns us. It controls us. It, it changes who we are every day of our life. See, possession, 
We think that we own things. We think that we have things. We we think that it's ours. And, and oftentimes what happens with this word possession is that all of a sudden the things that we try to possess now possess us. They, it owns us. Our phones own us. Our cars own us. The things we strive after. Do you realize the number of people that are living paycheck to paycheck and why? Because they have overextended themselves and they bought all these things so that the way they own the things. But the reality is the things start owning them. The things start possessing them. Possession matters. And for God to have possession of your life is the most important thing you could do to this day. To realize that God is not there and you don't own him because the Holy Spirit comes and lives inside me. I don't own the old Holy Spirit. The reality is, is that the Holy Spirit owns me. My motivational word for you today, possession. Who's possessing you? What is possessing you in this life that you live, in this very moment that you breathe and you get up and you move around or you go to bed? Ask yourself this question. Are you gaining? Are you getting the gift of spiritual wisdom and understanding? Understanding that as you get more and more of the Spirit of God working in and through your life that you realize that now you don't possess Him. <laughs> Woo! You can never possess and have as your possession God. The hope is, is that He becomes your owner he becomes the possession that you realize that you can go do something great for him. See, we think that we own all these things, but they'll break, we'll throw them away, and we'll strive after more possessions. But these possessions of life, they will end up owning us if we don't allow God to work in and through our life. I ask you this question, who are you the possession of? What is owning you in this day and age right now for you? Is it your phone? Is it your income? Is it the money? Is it your cars? Is it your house? What is it that you're striving so diligently after that you think you are possessing? Possession? Yeah. Over my life, I've tried to possess God and make him can be controlled by me. You know what that's called? An idol. God cannot be possessed. He is the one who is doing the possessing. May you allow God full control of your life because he is the way, the truth, and the life. Your motivational word for the day Look at the possessions in your life. What is it that you think you own? What is it that you think that you have control over? And who has control over you? May it be the one true living God. May God bless you. May you go conquer your day and go conquer your life knowing that the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords is still on his throne even in this very moment. And oh yeah, don't forget, like, subscribe, make a comment, read Colossians chapter 1, 2, 3, 4, and focus on Colossians 3, 1 through 17 this week.